Welcome back everybody. I started uh, doing another marble pour. I am using up paints. I have a lot mixed up. So this one is going to be interesting. Some blues and some purple. We all know how those go together. So these are so much fun to do. I have such good success with them, picking the colors. I've uh, done some really beautiful ones and they're so easy to do. You just have to get creative with your colors and cross your fingers. <laughs> That's a lot of it too. Now they don't have to be perfect, but you want enough on there that the colors are going to all blend side by side. So I'm using up paints. Isn't that enough? amazing? I've got two empty now. <laughs> That's two that needs washing. So then we have another color. I think this is Night Sky from Folk Art. The first one was Sea Mist from Deco Art. And a turquoise pigment. I don't remember the name of it. Beautiful color. And it's got sparkle in it. So let's see what this is going to give us. Hopefully I can get this down fast enough. And I'm just using up my uh, bloom paints. Nothing special. They turn out really beautiful. That's what I've been having success with. I'm sure there is a recipe to use, but I think a lot of other artists are doing that as well. Different consistencies really make a difference. You don't want them all runny or you don't want one thick and then one runny and it just ruins your design. This is Raspberry Flash from Folk Art. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I love this color as you can tell. I'm gonna put one more of this somewhere. I think up in this corner here. And I did just stir them up, so hopefully we don't have a lot of bubbles, but I can see some already. And we're going with the last one. I think this is just, it may, might even be Sangria from TLP, but it's a stone pigment is what it said on my container. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's what it actually is. I guess we'll we'll find out when I mix up some more I'll find out if they look the same all right we're getting there almost all filled where I want them I'm not going close to the edge because those usually get tilt off or spilt spun off so I'm not going there And why waste paint? One more color I have, and it is a purple flash. Folk art blue violet flash. I'll go right here with it. That way it gets all the colors sort of close together. And over here. And one more dab somewhere, probably right here. <laughs> and I don't know how much more we need. Oh, why not? 
We'll make sure we got color here. And here. Some of the puddles are bigger than the other. <laughs> not, not a big difference. Marble runs through it all. And did we use anything, leave anything out? I don't think so. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five. I got six colors on here. So without further ado, let's do a quick torch. Ooh, bubbles. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. There's my marble. And hopefully I don't go off camera here. See, the center has a lot of paint. As you can see, it's moving pretty good. My pillow is kind of runny. Maybe I have to let it sit a few more days. I thought it would be all right. Colors are blending. One more. And off. <laughs> All right. I am going to. There we go. It worked. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of paint here. So we're just gonna go slow. And it's gonna start spinning off. Okay. Back the other way. Just might have to tilt it. Not coming the way I want it to. Get it off this corner. Okay, that's off. Now this corner. I can hear it dripping.
Yeah, my pillow is really runny. My base paint. And that is what is giving us problems today. Not the paints. But that's okay. It's still pretty. Just tilting it. See how much more is going to come off. Hmm. Not my best. Yeah, I got to work on that pillow paint. <laughs> how much is left on here? Not bad, actually. I, I thought I'd have more paint. Oh, so messy, though. I see some people just do it so beautifully and so easy. And here's me making a big mess. <laughs> okay, one more spin the other way. That's a lot of pink coming off. Hopefully we're safe with that. There's a little bit more center. Okay. What do you guys think? Is it a keeper? some more bubbles. I don't see many, but there are a few. Like right there. This one. <laughs> and this one. Okay, well, this was a re-pour, so I'm not going to cry if it doesn't work out. But, <clears throat> pardon me, um, let me bring it up to you. It's pretty, pretty cool if you guys can see the effects of the all the pigments. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, please. I thank everyone who are subscribing and joining my my channel, enjoying my videos, liking my videos, and learning from me. I'm no expert, but I sure like helping people get answers and answer questions and help them figure out what's right, what's wrong. So there you go. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thanks for stopping in and have a great day.